Don't forget, as you're watching Kids at Liberty, to look for Red the Lobster. And when you spot where he is, you can text to 617-997-8070. That's 617-997-8070. Or email to kidsatliberty at gmail.com. And let me know where you spotted Red. And you'll get lots of veggie bucks. Hi, welcome today. I'm Pastor Beth, and I'm bringing a little bit of an object lesson to you. And again, this might be geared for the kids, but I have yet to meet very many humans who do not enjoy an ice cream sundae. I actually met one years ago, true story, on a ladies retreat who claimed that she wasn't interested in, uh, you know, candy or sweets or anything that was bad for her until it was time for the ice cream sundae that happened every weekend and suddenly we turned around and look who had a bowl of ice cream in front of her. So I'm pretty sure ice cream sundaes are one of those things that hardly anyone can walk away from. So I'm going to talk to you today about a few simple things and just to put yourself um, in a different mindset. So here I have a really big bowl of ice cream and you're going to just work with me here and assume that you are the ice cream. The ice cream represents you. Now hopefully, even during these times, you're not eating bowls of ice cream like this because otherwise you're not going to fit anything including your pajamas when this is over. But we're going to assume that you are like this bowl of ice cream, which is amazing. And I'm looking at this and normally my favorite is cherry vanilla, but this is pretty close because it's vanilla with strands of strawberry in it. Yum. Okay, so you and the ice cream. And then we get some sprinkles put on it. Now you could put, uh, I know up here you guys call them jimmies, um, but I'm going to put a bunch of sprinkles on here and you can see from this bowl that my sprinkles are all multicolored. Beautiful different colors. And these represent all of the different ways God has made you different. You have different talents and abilities and things that make you you. Your bowl of ice cream is going to look different than anyone else's. And then I'm going to put some bananas in here. We're going to assume that this is going to be like a big banana split Sunday thing-ish. And so we stick those in there. And I knew I was going to need a napkin because that was going to be a little bit slimy. And those bananas represent the fruit of the spirit. We're going to come back to that in just a minute. So we've got our bananas in there. And then we're going to put some whipped cream on there. And, and the whipped cream doesn't actually represent anything. It's just you cannot have an ice cream sundae without whipped cream. I'm sure we could make it mean something, but right now it just tastes good. And you should actually taste good to the world. You should come across as something that is sweet and kind. And see, there we go. We made a connection with our can of whipped cream. And at the end, we're going to put these cherries on them now. Some people just put one on. And what fun is that? See, when I was a kid, I could just eat a whole, my mother would have to hide them because I could just sit there, open up a jar of maraschino cherries and go to town. But these cherries right here represent you and the hair on your head, the numbers of the hairs on your head are unique. Everything about you is unique. And so we have this beautiful bowl of ice cream here. The ice cream is you. We have the fruit of the spirit, the different ways that you are different in those sprinkles from everyone else. But we're going to focus on that fruit of the spirit for just a minute. I'm going to look there and you know that in the book of Galatians, that's where you find that fruit of the spirit. So we're just going to look there for a minute. We're going to look away from the ice cream sundae for a moment. And it says in the book of Galatians, but the fruit of the spirit is love and joy and peace, patience, kindness, goodness, oh, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And I love the ending part of that. It says, against such things, there is no law. You're never going to find it against the law to be patient, to be loving, to be thankful, all of those things together. And so I really would encourage you as you're thinking, boy, mom, I'd really love an ice cream sundae about right now. I would encourage you to take your Bibles out, read those fruit of the spirit 
and then think about yourself and some of the gifts and talents that God has given you. And I think that's a really great thing to be thinking about in these times when we maybe have a little bit more time on our hands and when you've turned off your screens for a while and think all of these ways, like these sprinkles in this bowl, that God has made me different and I have all of these different talents and that God has made me unique and there's specific hairs on my head and there are things that just make me different and that, those things that make you unique are that cherry on the top of your sundae. It puts the whole picture together and then you have those bananas there that are the fruit of the Spirit. And one thing to remember, and I didn't learn this for a long time or I didn't realize it, that God doesn't say you have to work on one or two of those fruit of the Spirit. It's like, well, if you get five out of nine of them, you're good. No the fruit of the Spirit kind of come together as a group. So while you're looking at it, you could say, I'm all right at loving people. I can be pretty joyful. I can be thankful, but I'm pretty low on the patience scale. But I'm all right, because I got the other three going on. No, you and your bowl of ice cream here, your wonderful, amazing self, need to work on all of those together. But also think about those talents that God has given you, because they're going to go together and they're going to help each other. So just encourage you today, Two things, maybe three, uh, go open your Bible, read those. There are some really fun YouTube songs that go along with it as well, just saying. And think about what God's given you as good things that you know how to do. And then find some ice cream. You can have a whole meditation and prayer time over your bowl of ice cream. So go read those, enjoy your Sunday, and have a great day.